hello once again and today we're going to have a look back at the Soko Beta Convenient Frame. Basically it's an open computer case thingy. Yeah, so now we've built up a mock PC out of using spare parts which I found conveniently I had a spare motherboard spare hard drive doesn't work properly um, and a few cards and a spare power supply um, so here we are so this motherboard's out of a old HB computer I think dated from 2004 something like that with a Pentium 4 HT P, um, CPU anyway we're not talking about that we're talking about the case so you can have up to a um, ATX case and an, you can have as low as an ITX case. You can get an ITX case, um, open case on its own if you would just want an ITX build. But this is the full one and unfortunately you are not going to be able to pay £18 anymore. They're all out of stock. Now I've seen these I think as low as fifty pounds now. Fifty pounds, yeah. So I got a saving. I wish I bought two of them now. <laughs> it was still could have cost, and it still would have cost me less than buying one now. Um, yeah. Wish I bought two. <laughs> anyway, no, not really. What would I do with it? Perhaps I could build more into it. You can buy it. I think you can buy additional parts, so you can actually build. Bigger, a uh, bigger case out of it because I've seen on Amazon there are with this style of um, frames, there are like tuck double. There's all sorts of different ones you can buy, but they are quite expensive. So eighteen pounds, I got a bargain, um, and it's quite a sturdy case actually. <laughs> I can't fault it. Um, yeah, so I don't like the positioning of the SS. Not the SS, it's not an SS, it's a hard drive. You can put an SSD here if you want to. It's just mounted on with two brackets, that's all. And you can accommodate, it can accommodate um, the three and a half inch ones as well. Um, just space it out. And I think there's additional screws with it. Um, I did get a lot of spare screws. There's a lot. Um, so yeah, it's just a mock-up. Um, you can accommodate. Let's turn it round. So as we can see, there's the um, CP, um, the power supply unit. Now you can mount this either way. It's, it works either way. But I've decided to put the fan there so it extracts the heat, blows it out of there. Um, now this this back panel is fixed to the motherboard. You can take that off with it because there's a there's a back plate underneath the mug, motherboard. Um, so yeah, see these are where all the cards were going. You unscrew you unscrew these things and you pop your cards in. Now these cards don't all work. They're just there for just to demonstrate um, how they go in. Yeah, it's just unscrew those and you just pop the card straight in you have to play out lining it up and all that so yeah but yeah I've got a little SSD here hiding away I can get it out here we go it's an SSD little thing like that 32 gigabyte SSD just just hiding there keeps it out of the way keeps it tidy I know it's not pretty I mean cable management well, it could be a lot better, <laughs> but I don't care. It's just a mock-up. I can't really care about cable management because it's just for testing purposes. I mean, modern motherboards, you wouldn't even have half of these cables. I mean, you'd probably be, if you've got a motherboard, this is mo which is mod modern, you would have an M2 dot drive, M.2 drive, rather, in the motherboard, so you wouldn't have to probably worry about Maybe you'll have a hard drive for storage, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it 
like that. Probably do something with all these cables um, now. Now I'm someone that does like to have uh, a, a DVD ROM drive or whatever. I've got one right here, which is an internal drive, but with uh, external caddy, so I can connect it via USB or eSATA. And look what I've got here is an eSATA card. Well, not a card, it's just a eSATA connector, and that just goes to a SATA in the motherboard. So I've got that option. So yeah, as I say, that card, it, that's a sound card, but unfortunately that sound card does not work for some reason. That that's a USB card that doesn't work for some reason. But the rest of it works. I've, I mean, I've tested this PC. It fires up. Obviously, I wanted to see what colour the LEDs are. Well, we know what colour the LEDs are. What the power is green, or is it the power? I can't, I can't remember now. <laughs> One of them's the power, one of them's the hard drive activity light. I can't remember what one's which now. So we've got our reset switch and power switch. Yeah, so they light up no problem at all. But as I said, I have something better than this. If I was going to build a proper PC, you know, get some decent parts, then I'll have something else replacing that because I've got something better than that. But, it's all about the frame. It's not about the computer. It's all about the open-air case. Right. <laughs> because the sound, on-board sound card doesn't work. Or the on-board sounds obviously don't work. On this motherboard for some reason. I had to use a USB sound device. That works. I know that works. And this is the front panel, um, because this motherboard is completely fussy if you use um, ordinary um, audio, you know, headers. If you tr it's got to have its own USB um, front pa panel thing, and panel front porch, you know what I mean. This is from the HP, and it won't work with any other thing only this HP so I had to take it out of the computer but this the USB works but the audio doesn't for some reason but it's an old motherboard I'm not that fast it boots up the computer does boot up so yeah it's just more about the case um, I'm, I'm quite pleased with the case actually I, I to be honest with you I doubt if I would have paid any money over £20 I wouldn't have paid over £20 for it because it's something I don't really need. It was just there because I really I wanted to own one of these cases, but I wasn't going to fork out a lot of money on one. I was not going to pay fifty pounds for one. No way. Eighteen pounds, yeah, that's that's good enough just to experiment with, just to mess about with. Um, yeah, I'm 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 absolutely satisfied paying um, eighteen pounds for it. Let's have a look underneath. Yeah, so it's quite sturdy, it's quite strong. You do have to tighten, tighten those screws right up, you know, make it more sturdy. The, back, the case is fully adjustable, so you, all you have to do is undo those screws slightly. You could slide all that to accommodate different size motherboards. Everything is adjustable, even the feet are adjustable. Um, the, the mount, the hard drive's mounting is adjustable. Everything's adjustable, including including this. Even that's adjustable. All you have to do is undo the screw slightly. You can even move it up and down to make it fit properly. Even these undo, you know, to adjust. It is a really good put together case. Even the power supply, you can move right to there, you know. As far down as the motherboard will allow you to, it it is completely adjustable. This case, open air case, it's for what it is. It is really good. I am really pleased with it. Oh, that's gonna help. 
you never know I might put another motherboard in it because I've got a load of spare but they're all taken up with different cases and computers so I didn't want to take a computer apart just to put it in this so I had a lot of spares as we can see it's just a mock-up as I said but if you want to put a modern PC in it I don't see why not so I think you can accommodate um, water cooling one thing it doesn't accommodate is fans so I don't know how you would go about putting fans in it as I said you, you can buy I don't know if you can buy it but you can certainly put additional rods and stuff like that and frames build it up if you want to buy more parts I guess or another one of these or extra bits and pieces as I said there is an ATX not an ATX this is an ATX an ITX model and it's a lot smaller just to accommodate ITX motherboards but if you're thinking about buying this one for £18 you're way out of luck <laughs> There is no more. I think the cheapest I saw was about fifty pounds now. So I probably would, I bought the last or well, second to last one, maybe the third last one. But if I would have known, I would have bought two of them. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, I've got one at least. Anyway, I thought I would show you what it looks like when the computer's built. Yeah, I know the cables are not pretty, but I don't care to be honest with you. It irritates the people that really care about cable management. It They don't like it when I've done previous builds and they see all the cables in a mess. It really irritates them and they think of me as the Antichrist because I haven't got, I've got messy cables. Oh, your cable management's horrible. Oh. Yeah, so what? <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time and goodbye.